here's a situation there's a sphere and this hole is bored out of it and this the hole is going to be cylindrical with a radius of seven I forgot to put the wait what happened oh i've got the eraser selected so there's the cylindrical hole and its radius is seven and this radius is 14. so <clears throat> first of all i'm going to put this thing on a coordinate plane look at a cross section of it this is the x this is the y putting my arrows and <clears throat> i can take a little starting from that cylinder go just a little bit an infinitely small amount away from the cylinder and make a little bit bigger cylinder and then from that infinitely little bit bigger infinitely little bit bigger and i look at the surface area of each one of those a little bit bigger cylinders, a little bit bigger cylinder, a little bit bigger cylinder. Surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi rh. And again, uh, I don't think I said it once. I'm not looking at the bottom half. I'm going to only do the top half. And then whatever I do, I'll just multiply by 2. So I'll put in the 2 pi. What is the radius of these cylinders? Well, it's the x distance from the origin or from the uh, y-axis. So the radius of each bigger, bigger, bigger cylinder is x. And then what's the height of each cylinder? I need the radius and the height to get the surface area. Well, the equation of the, sur of the circle, the cross-sectional circle, x squared plus y squared equals 14 squared, which is 196. y squared equals 196 minus x squared. And if I square root both sides, y equals, it's technically plus or minus, but I'm not going to have a negative height, so 196 minus x squared, the square root of all that. So that's the height that I have to put into my formula. Square root, 196 minus x squared. And then dx, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it fills in all this space that is needed to fill in, and then I'll have the volume. I'm going to take that 2 pi, put it on the outside. Oh, one more part I forgot to mention. What is the, What are the limits of integration? Well, it starts from the radius of the existing cylinder, 7, and it goes out to the radius of the sphere, 14. I don't want the parts inside that hole. I just want the parts outside the hole. I want to look at this surface area. It's getting bigger and bigger starting at the existing cylinder, so not inside the cylinder. So I'll take this 2 pi, put it on the outside. 2 times 2 pi is 4 pi. Integral of 7 to 14 of x times square root 196 minus x squared dx. And you can figure that out. Plug it into your calculator. I worked it on Desmos. It comes out to... 7,465.6 approximately. 7,465.6 approximately. So I put that little squiggle. So there's the answer. And what is that? Cubic units, whatever the units are, cubed. That's the answer.